Hi guys, it's Marianne, the Frugal Chef. Hey, why don't we make a roasted chicken today with barbecue sauce? We're gonna butterfly it and uh, and just cook it in the oven and then put some uh, barbecue sauce on it. Let's make this. We're gonna use a chicken which I dry brined last night. Um, I have a video on how to do that and this is absolutely optional. You do not need to do it if you don't want. Basically, it is covered in salt in the fridge overnight. I'll attach the video for you just in case, okay? Now, I'm just gonna butterfly this uh, chicken so that we can rub it and let it sit in the rub for a while before we put it in the oven. I just washed my hands and what I'm gonna do is just start breaking this a little bit. With some good kitchen shears, we will start cutting that bone out. All I did is cut up where the bone is, you know, the backbone. Just like that. Now, you can throw this out if you want. I'm going to freeze it and have it in the freezer to make stock. Make sure you clean your scissors very well. I'm going to wash them and then I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, put a bleach solution on them just to get rid of all the chicken on them so they're not contaminated. I now flip the chicken and we're gonna break the breastbone. Okay, it's now nice and flat. We can now rub it and get it ready. I have a tablespoon of brown sugar in there, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne. Now, that is absolutely uh, optional, guys, okay? If you don't want the cayenne, that's fine. Um, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're gonna mix this with two tablespoons of yellow mustard. And I'm just gonna spread this all over my chicken. I went ahead and put my chicken on top of a rack on the roasting pan that comes with the oven. If you have a roasting pan, you know, whatever you have, uh, go ahead and use it. If you have a rack, that'd be better because that way all the grease is just gonna drip and you won't have a greasy chicken. Now we're only going to do one side here as the other side is nice and open. If you're not gonna dry brine your chicken, you might want to add salt to, uh, to the rub. Uh, the mustard has salt, so try it and decide, okay? Um, I probably would add some salt to it and some black pepper if you want, but please, you know, just follow your, your preference. Um, I obviously didn't put any salt in there because this has already been dry brined and it doesn't need any. I didn't add any black pepper because of all that cayenne, but you know, you do what you want. So now I'm gonna let this chicken sit here for about 20 minutes with this rub, and then I'm gonna put it in an oven at 375. Um, I'm gonna see you after it's been in the oven for about 30 minutes, and we'll start putting barbecue sauce on this. Um, this will cook faster than a regular chicken because we took out the, you know, because we butterflied it. So. Um, we'll see how long it takes, but I will see you in, you know, in about 50 minutes, um, 20 minutes of, of, uh, of marinating and then 30 of the oven. If, if having the chicken out for 20 minutes at room temperature makes you nervous, go ahead and put it in the refrigerator. That's fine. Uh, and then just pop it in the oven, okay? Okay, this was in the oven for 30 minutes like I told you. Now I'm going to start putting barbecue sauce on this. You know, you can use any sauce you want. I'm using my homemade barbecue sauce, the one I make with apple juice. I'll attach it to this. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. But if you want to use store-bought, that's cool too. We're gonna spread this all over our chicken. Careful not to burn yourself with the pan. 
You know, the time that you cook your chicken is obviously going to depend on the size. I would think this is about four pounds. So because it's butterflied, I think it's going to be done. I think an hour is going to be enough. I don't know. I'm going to have to test it. I might have to cook it for a little longer. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so now I'm just going to put it back in the oven for another 15, 20 minutes. And we'll bring it back out and baste it again. All ovens are different. I can't give you an exact time, but I'll show you when this is ready, okay? So you can use it as a guide. Oh boy, check out that chicken. I am going to go ahead and add more of my sauce on this and put it all over it and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes and then check it. So far, it's been in the oven for 45 minutes. Okay, back in the oven it goes. Look at this, ah, oh, I can't wait to eat it. Okay, there's two ways to check if this is ready. One would be to insert a meat thermometer right there. You have to put it close to the bone and it has to register 165, 170, your chicken is ready. Another way is to cut a little slit here in the thigh and see that you have clear juices, which we do. Okay, I'm gonna allow this to sit, uh, settle for about 10 minutes before I cut into it. Let's carve this. One thing I didn't tell you is if the juices on the thigh were bloody, of course, keep on cooking your chicken, okay? Um, this was in the oven for a total of an hour and 10 minutes. Again, it cooked faster because it has no backbone, it's butterfly, uh, and again, yours might cook Yours might take a little longer, so please just, you know, control it and see when it's ready and you're ready to eat. I'm going to cut this so we can taste it. Oh, Lord. This meat is so moist. Just check out how moist this meat is. It didn't dry and it, it's just perfect, 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 perfect. some of that sauce on there. Of course, you can serve this with extra barbecue sauce, which is what I'm gonna do. So everybody can put more if they want. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This meat is tender. It is moist. It tastes fantastic. It's very, very good. I'll have this recipe on the website waiting for you guys to come and print it. Hey, by the way, on my uh, channel for my views, uh, my life, my views, which I'll also attach to this one, I just put up a video on some coconut crab that we ate this weekend and some views of the island where we live if you're interested, okay? All right, my friends, eat well without going broke. I'm going to see you soon. I know I said goodbye already, but I want to show you how I'm going to serve this. This is all nicely carved. I'm just going to drizzle some extra barbecue sauce on top. Just like that. Mm, yum, yum.